Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I thought it would be a lot of fun to actually show you guys how I wash my makeup brushes and my makeup sponges. I try to do like a deep clean, like I spot clean my brushes every time I use them, but I like to do a deep clean once a week or once every week and a half when I can actually get to all of them. And I'm gonna show you that entire process in this video. Originally, it was just gonna be like a voiceover video, but I was doing my eye makeup today and it came out too cute not to be on camera. I'm wearing the Subculture palette on my eyes today. I took the two like pinky ready shades, Roxy and All Star, just in my transition. And then I put on the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Rose Gold Retro all over my lid. And it's literally like the perfect combination. Ever. I love this look. This is gonna be my Valentine's Day look, I think, because it looks so cute. And then on my lips, I'm wearing this Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. It's the limited edition version in the shade Gingerbread Girl, and it's just such a nice, like, deep red color. Ah, I'm, I'm feeling myself today, <laughs> and it, I just really wanted to film. So before we jump into this clean with me video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like more kind of behind the scenes, tool focused videos like this. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So let's start cleaning. Starting off with my sponges, I'm demonstrating two different types of cleansers that you can use. One is a body wash from Neutrogena and the other one is a face wash from Clinique. Personally, I find that I get the best results cleaning with a very, not harsh, but a strong facial cleanser on my brushes, which is why I really prefer these Clinique bottles. These bottles are actually like little mini, not samples, but they're minis I actually got from my last job. I got a whole bunch of like free little bottles because we were giving them out, and I've been still steadily working my way through them over the past couple of months as I clean my sponges. But personally, I would recommend any sort of stronger, not harsh, but stronger facial cleanser. I was originally using this Clinique face wash on my face, but I felt that it was just a little bit too harsh for my skin. But it works very well on my sponges, and I don't feel any extra effects on my skin after using these sponges.
Moving on to washing my brushes. I'm gonna show you guys two methods. Again, the first method is using this Sigmatic brush shampoo foam from Sigma and I really hated this cleanser. <laughs> I really regret buying it, but I'll show you the way that it works. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that well. My favorite method of cleaning my brushes is a good old fashioned cleansing method. I just mix equal parts Dawn dish soap with any olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, olive oil, whatever you have in your cabinet. And I feel like that really cleanses my brushes the best. Unfortunately, with the Sigma brush shampoo, whatever, I literally had to pump at least 20 pumps onto a bigger brush to get it clean at all. I really would not recommend this cleanser. The only thing it would maybe do okay for are like very, very tiny, small eyeshadow brushes. But even then, it didn't do a great job of taking out color. Uh, so I, I would just stay away from it, to be quite honest. I also really like using my homemade kind of brush cleanser with my pink Sigma glove. Honestly, uh, if I could go back and redo it, I would get the brush mat that you can kind of stick to the sink because I find that my hands get really, really uh, pruney and it could be irritating, especially if you're trying to like grow out your nails or anything. So I might get that mat, but overall it actually is a really good method and a really good way to deep clean your brushes.
And now that everything is all cleansed, I leave it all out to dry. So I do like to leave everything on an incline just to make sure all the water drains out and not into the actual ferrule of the brush. And that's just how everything looks. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.